But if you're stronger, you're not gonna realistically be able to do that. Especially women, ladies. Like I said before, kick to the nuts doesn't work. That shit don't work. If the guy's already close to you, he's trying to grab you, go to the neck, your hair, whatever, turn him. Fight me, fight me. It's simple, it's not difficult. You don't have to be a Kung Fu master to know this shit. It's pretty easy. I'm gonna go over how to fight like a bouncer, part two. I got quite a few questions about uh, what to do in case a person does this or does that. So I'm gonna show you guys now different things that a person can do from this position. Please stand here. So if you guys haven't seen my first video, how to fight like a bouncer, part one, watch that one before you watch this one. Okay, so from here, what the person can do from here. What I've seen, what I've had a lot happen myself is some people will go for the takedown. So if he goes for the takedown to grab my leg, I'm still holding him here. So obviously, first of all, you guys want to get your leg out of the way. So as soon as he goes for the takedown, go, you move your leg out of the way, and he's already going in this direction. So all I gotta do is pull him with me. Then I have him here. Now, go ahead, go, 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 go. Okay, we'll do it from the beginning, all right? I'm gonna, you go for the takedown, I throw you, and then just wait there. Once, once you get to the ground, just, just toss, okay. okay? Ready? And one, two, go. So once I have him here, what you will see some other martial arts channels tell you is to come this way and start doing this. It's not the UFC, it's not MMA, okay? That's stupid, don't do that. It's not like kicks are not allowed. If you have the guy here already, go ahead, fight me back a little bit. I can kick him here. Go ahead, come again. I can punch him in the back of the head. I can grab him and knee him. You know what I mean? I can do many things. Now, another thing, before you do that too, come back up, come back up. This is assuming it's just one-on-one. -on -one. I'm assuming right now it's just me, him. There's nobody else around. If there's people around, and he goes for that, go ahead. You always want to look around you first before you do anything. Because you don't know if someone's going to hit you or not. Go ahead, go for it. Go for it, do something. Now I have him here. Now we just went with the flow a little bit. But if they go for the takedown, just get your leg out of the way. Move out of the way. You have your leg in the perfect position, and you have him here. You can even bring him towards your leg. And then you go right through him. Boom! You guys get the idea. You pretty much get your foot in the face while you're pushing him down. So your hands going down, your foot's going up, and this happens. You guys get the idea of how fucked up the person can get. So that's one. The takedown. Go ahead, go. go. You're acting a different way now. Different way. Huh? Something different. Anything. Just this or this. Mm, mm, mm. Why on earth would I want to come back here for? When I'm in the perfect position to finish him. If it's a brawl, there's more people fighting, there's more people attacking me, I gotta be fast. He goes for the takedown, boom, whatever, boom, boom, and I gotta look around me right away. I may be able to continue with him, I may not be. In that case, I push him away. Or I run. If I'm outnumbered, go to the door, get the rest of the guards. If it's just you in the, in the middle of the dance floor, whatever. All right? Now, go on to the next one. Go for the takedown. So, in the case you guys need to let him go, I need to let him go for a second. And he's still down there. Go, go, let's say I punch him once. I punch him once, go down, go down, go down. Yeah. Go all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. And now try, try, try to get back up. Let's say he's trying to get back up, stay there. And I gotta look around me, right? Don't do this, guys. Don't kick people this way. Why? If you kick people this way, they see your foot. Block my foot. Just, 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 just try to keep me from, from kicking you, ready? Yeah. And block, go. Go, go, but keep going, keep going, go with it. Pretend I'm really kicking you, so move, block, whatever. <laughs> One more time. No, go again, go again, go again. Just block. Just look at my feet the whole time and block with both hands. One, two, go. Block, block, block. So you guys don't want to do that, okay? When you have the guy down here, kicking this way is no good. You guys want to bring your leg up. From up to down. It's a stomp. It looks terrible, I know. But in the middle of a fight when there's many people fighting you, sometimes you don't have a choice. If he's down here, I'm not going to go for that. I'm going to go for a stomp. Either here, here, whatever. Try not to go, if you really don't have a choice, okay. Here you can do that. I'm holding him here. I'm keeping him from blocking. Go ahead, try to block. But, if he has the space to get up, I shouldn't be doing this. I should be trying to go up, or here, or away from his hands, whatever. But remember, before you do anything here, look around you. So we're gonna keep going here. We had to leave from the other spot, so. 
I went over the takedown, right? Go for the takedown. I went over this one and what to do. Now we'll go to the next one. That's in case that they go for the takedown. Now, sometimes, if you're punching them or whatever, go back. Some, go back that way, that way, that way. Just get away from the okay. punch. I'm punching you. Try to get away from it. Because if I punch you, block, block, do something. Okay. What would you do? What would you do if I really punch you? Just, just, just go natural. Now do the spinning one. Some people will try to spin this way and elbow you. Because they see it a lot in the movies and shit. But we're used to it. Almost everybody does it. When you control this arm, try to hit me, try to hit me. When you control this arm, hit me, hit me, hit me. And they can't do anything, go try to hit me. And they can't do anything, usually they try to spin, spin, spin. But do the fucking elbow, they just hit me. If you hit me, it's my fault. Okay, I'm used to this shit, don't worry about it, go. Go, you grab here. Okay, if he goes forward, go forward. I go forward. If he goes back, go back, I go back. This is how you control people. He's stronger than me, he's a little bigger than me, so I'm not gonna fight him. If he's going that way, go that way. I'm not gonna go this way, because he's gonna beat me. So I'll just go wherever he goes. Go, go anywhere you want. Change, change it up. Change it up. You guys get the point, right? Go where he goes. Like I said before many times, fake self-defense. If the guys are in their place and they're doing this, huh, go, go. Huh, just stay in your place. Yeah. Just block, dude, do something. Huh, 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 huh. I don't care how good you do it. It's bullshit, right? If you're in place and you're not moving, if the guy is not coming at you, come at me. And I'm going back. If I'm coming at him and he's not going back or we're not clashing, boom, boom, ground. Anything where they're standing like this in their place because it's easier to film, it's bullshit. Bullshit. Master Wong, Dre, Dewey, whatever, all those guys. They don't know what they're talking about, okay? So. Again, here, another thing you can do. So I went through the attack, I went through the takedown, spinning elbow, go with the spinning elbow again. You typically do this, right here. Not here, not here, this is bullshit. You can get away easily. You wanna control higher, right here. Elbow me, punch me, elbow me. Go ahead, just really try, really try. Really try, keep going, keep going. You guys get the point, whatever, ba 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 ba, right? So, if he kicks, Let's say he kicks. I have him here. Try to kick, try to kick. Do a different kick. Any kick, try to kick, whatever. Use your legs. Whatever. You just go with him. Don't go against him. Don't fight him if he's stronger, of course. If he's smaller and he's weaker, yeah. Go a little, go a little down a little more. He's weaker, yeah, just manhandle him. Move him wherever you want. But if he's stronger, you're not gonna realistically be able to do that. Especially women, ladies. Like I said before, kick to the nuts doesn't work. That shit don't work. If the guy's already close to you, he's trying to grab you, go for the neck, your hair, whatever. Turn him. Fight me, fight me. It's simple, it's not difficult. You don't have to be a kung fu master to know this shit. It's pretty easy. Any, any questions? No. Anybody any questions? You guys any questions? All right, to the next one, guys. Have a good one. Stay safe. Watch the safe. So the way that your night goes depends on what the nice coach Just bear this in mind, son, because if you go, then we go. Some call this ego, but trust me, when the fight goes, it might be five guys. So it's cheap with the knife for the tricks to survive for rid of a night and end this sight without fright. Not to be rough, it's quite tough, but you've had enough of a cup of the drunks and punks and cunts who jump on your last nerves all at once. Loved by many, but hated by more. The price that we pay when we're guarding the door. People look down on us, call us a chore. They may not like us, but they need us for sure. Forming cues for the nothing but vile abuse. Maybe she lost them before, but she was fucking in the news. Pick is so old, it could be anybody, me or you. ¡Cállate, cállate! 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 ¡